whatever she is. The beauty of human beings is not in the appearance. Because the appearances are accidents. Today you are young and smooth skinned. Tomorrow you will be old and wrinkled. Today you may be light or even dark and smooth. But due to sickness tomorrow you may be rough and badly dark. What matters is not the appearance because they will change. What matters with every one of us is the essence, the essay. And essence is what makes the it to be it. Redundance, but yet making meaning. When we come to ask about life, it's not scientific and there is no scientific proof of when human life begins. People will say during conception it's actually a misconception. Because if we ask ourselves and try to come to try, uh, try and talk about life itself, we talk about living organisms that live on their own and one of the organisms that live on their own are the reproductive cells of a human being. That's a, a sperm and an ova. If they live away from the body and they are alive, that means they are living beings. And therefore, they have their own soul. The sperm have a sperm soul and the ova an ova soul. But when they meet, where do their souls go so that a human soul is formed? Where do their souls go? And where do the human soul come from? No science can explain. And that's what we call the foolishness of science. It has, it has reached a dead end. But in the Bible, there is an answer of where the human soul comes from. Before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. We were all known by God. We all, if our soul came from God, and when it came from God, nobody explains how it came into our body. And so, when we die, nobody knows how it goes back to the Lord. Death is a mystery that we cannot fathom. A mystery that we cannot understand. And in death, we should learn that we should not ask questions because God does not answer questions. God answers prayers. We should be more prayerful when death hits. It is the time that we approach God like a friend. Tell him in prayer all that is in our hearts. We pour our hearts out, our hearts out to the Lord and ask him to give us the courage. Death for those who believe becomes a moment to celebrate life. None of us in their wildest thoughts thought at any one given time they would come and meet with Madame Okafi. Nobody knew. I have met her we have all met her because God ordained that we meet. God has also ordained that we should part. 
The others, maybe by the end of this year, would have parted with her because of finishing school. For her, she did not finish school. She finished her work on earth. When you think about your own death, when <coughs> I think about my own death, it's something that we should entertain. Because if you don't think you're going to die, if you don't die and you're going to